Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today, we're going to do Advanced Vocabulary Builder Lesson Number 40, where we'll go through 10 advanced words and talk about their definitions, parts of speech, and a couple of example sentences. We'll finish with a story so we can get some extra practice. Let's go ahead and hop in. First, listen to me read the words. Thwart, reprehensible, efficacious, acrimonious, fractious, renown, contravene, complacency, servile, trepidation. First, thwart. This means to prevent someone from accomplishing something. So you might want to thwart an evil plot. You want to make sure it does not happen. Examples are, the security measures in place effectively thwarted the attempted break-in at the museum. The unexpected rainstorm thwarted our plans for an outdoor picnic, forcing us to reschedule. Reprehensible. This means deserving of censure or condemnation. It's an adjective. So something that's reprehensible is really, really bad. It's something that's awful. I would say that, for example, stealing money is reprehensible. Examples are, his reprehensible behavior included lying, cheating, and manipulating others for personal gain. The politician's reprehensible comments sparked outrage and condemnation from the public. Efficacious. This means effective, and it's an adjective. So something that's got efficacy or is efficacious is really effective at accomplishing what it's trying to do. I've heard this word in the context of research studies where we're looking at the efficacy or how efficacious a medication is in treating an illness. Examples are, the medicine proved to be highly efficacious in treating the symptoms and providing relief. Through his meticulous planning and execution, the project manager implemented an efficacious strategy for completing the task. Acrimonious. This means angry, bitter. It's an adjective. So someone or something that's acrimonious would be very disagreeable, uh, very unpleasant, annoying, bad. Examples are, the meeting took an acrimonious turn as participants began trading heated accusations and harsh words. Despite their initial friendship, a series of misunderstandings led to an acrimonious falling out between the two colleagues. Fractious. This word is typically applied to children who are troublesome or quarrelsome, as an adjective, or it can apply to a group or organization that is difficult to control or unruly, also as an adjective. So think of this word as kind of disjointed, fractious, has the same root as fraction. So think of things separated into parts. Uh, fractious is just lacking unity. Examples are the fractious group struggled to agree on even the simplest decisions during the meeting. The fractious child threw a fit in the middle of the grocery store. Renown. This is the condition of being known or talked about by many people. Fame. It's a noun. So think of someone who's very famous, an actor, a singer, a songwriter. It could be someone who's very famous in your country. Uh, for example, in America and in many parts of the world, Taylor Swift is renowned. Everyone knows her. She's very famous. Examples are the renowned scientist was honored with a prestigious award for her groundbreaking research. Throughout history, there have been renowned figures whose contributions have shaped society. Contravene. This is to contradict, oppose, violate, and it's a verb. So to contravene means to go against someone or something. Examples are the company's actions contravened the established regulations and led to legal consequences. The decision to ignore the safety guidelines contravened the established protocols, putting lives at risk. Complacency. This is self-satisfied ignorance of danger. It's a noun. So someone who's complacent doesn't really care. They're okay 
with something that's going very wrong or something very bad. Uh, it's kind of a deliberate ignorance. Examples are the team's complacency led to their downfall as they underestimated their opponents. It is crucial to avoid complacency and continuously strive for improvement and growth. Serval. This means subservient and it's an adjective. So someone who's servile is very deferential. They're willing to uh, defer to whoever is higher up in a hierarchy or whoever's in charge. Think of Dobby, the house elf in Harry Potter as a very servile character. Examples are the servile assistant fulfilled every request from the demanding boss without question. She grew tired of being treated as a servile subordinate and tried to assert her independence. Trepidation. This means fear, apprehension, and it's a noun. So someone who's feeling trepidation is very scared. They're very nervous. They don't like the situation or they don't like what is about to happen. Examples are, with trepidation, she approached the stage to give her first public speech. The job interview filled him with trepidation as he worried about making a good impression. So let's do a review story for extra practice. Listen to me read the story. In a small suburb, two sisters named Lily and Emma lived together in their family home. They were very close and shared a strong bond. However, as they grew older, conflicts began to arise between them. Lily had decided to become an artist while Emma focused on pursuing a corporate job. As Lily's paintings gained renown, she received praise from art critics. Emma started feeling a pang of jealousy and contravened towards her sister's success. Their conversations turned acrimonious as they began to criticize each other's life choices. Emma had too much complacency, in Lily's view, while Emma saw Lily's artistic pursuits as a sign of a lack of responsibility. Their once close relationship was now fractious. During one particularly tense argument, Emma's hurtful remarks thwarted Lily's spirit. She felt dejected and began to doubt her artistic abilities. Emma, realizing the impact of her words, felt a wave of remorse for her reprehensible behavior. She knew she needed to mend their relationship. In a moment of efficacious realization, Emma decided to support her sister's art and understand her passion better. She visited Lily's studio and saw the dedication and hard work that went into making each painting. Emma's trepidation about embracing art slowly dissipated as she saw the beauty and emotion in Lily's creations. Gradually, the sisters reconciled, realizing that they didn't have to be the same or share the same dreams to love and respect each other. Emma's servile approach shifted into genuine appreciation for Lily's talent, and Lily learned to appreciate Emma's pragmatic nature. So let's go through these words one last time. Thwart, reprehensible, efficacious, acrimonious, fractious, renown, contravene, complacency, servile, trepidation. Great job today. This is a series, so please like, comment, and subscribe. There will be more videos just like this, and there are a bunch of videos uh, in the past that are just like this one. I'll put playlists and videos right down here. Thanks so much, and feel free to ask questions in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Bye!